It turns out sadness has a flavor, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we only got a few comics left for your headliner. This nice comic, another hilarious guy. Everybody, make it loud for Raj Mahal. <laughs> and I'm a professional version. <laughs> Any laughs are an acceptable means of payment. You know, this is my fourth time performing stand-up, and I've cracked this joke every single time as my opener. And my friends always ask me, why? Well, first of all, that joke's fucking amazing, that's why. Second of all, everybody can get behind this joke. All right, there's three kinds of people who watch my performance. First, are the girls and the gay guys who believe me when I say that I'm a virgin. <laughs> Second of all, there's the straight guys who are sexually experienced. These are your alphas, and they feel that they're better than me, and so they laugh out of ego, out of confidence. <laughs> and lastly, lastly, are all the straight guys who are also virgins. <laughs> and tonight, uh, all right then? <laughs> And the secrets out there a little too early, bud. <laughs> and these guys, as you can see, are so excited tonight, and that's why I cracked this joke, and I've been cracking this joke until now, and I'm gonna be cracking this joke way into the future when I'm a big hotshot comedian with three specials on Netflix. I'm gonna be cracking this joke when I'm 70 years old and have sex a thousand times my age and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Bay Area, my name is Raj motherfucking Mahal, and I am a professional virgin. Let's hear it! Straight up, that's too confrontational, so it's not too threat. If I push her from the side of the back, she's gonna feel like I sneaked up on her. She's gonna the shit out of me. So I'm 45 degrees. And as I'm walking towards her, she notices me. And we make this eye contact that's so intense and only gets more intense the closer I get to her until I hand her the hot chocolate. She reaches for it, and we indirectly hold each other's hands with this hot chocolate mug. And I look into her eyes, gaze into the soul, and say, Something hot for someone hot. <laughs> and that's the story of why the first was screening over here. <laughs> I don't even know why I want a relationship, to be quite frank with you. Um, I guess the ultimate purpose of dating is marriage, but I'm only 21, right? I'm too young for that. So, yeah, and honestly, any time you bring up the topic of marriage, somebody always says, you know what, marriages end up in divorce. Just look at the stats. And you know what my biggest uh, pet peeve is? You know what really grinds my gears? When somebody shits on marriage just because of the divorce stats, okay? Look, there are way too many reasons to shit on marriage, but let's use statistics with great caution. And I noticed a lot of you, everyone tensed up on me just now. <laughs> Let me give you two examples to prove my point, all right? First, Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys. <laughs> they were married for 72 days and 72 days only. Why, why? It just got really confusing that when he yelled out, hey Chris, both your mom, Chris Jenner, and your husband will fight back? <laughs> or, did you, or did you really just want some free publicity to up your TV show ratings and launch a new fragrance? Oh my god. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give you another example, all right? Cher and Greg Allman. 
<laughs> now, Google asked me to release a PSA that only 50 year olds are above will get the Greg Allman reference. <laughs> I, I didn't even bother looking him up. I don't even share. She, she's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, so Cher and Greg, right, they're only married for nine days. And the marriage happened only four days after Cher's trip from Sunny. Four days. Guys, I'm Indian. We have arranged marriage. And even we spend more time getting to know the other person before we end up marrying them. Four days is not enough time to fall in love with somebody. How, how do you fall in love with somebody in four days? Four days. You know what that means? Greg was Cher's rebound. And who the fuck marries their rebound? Yeah. Who the fuck? What kind of a dumbass decision is that? You never, you never marry your rebound. <laughs> Even I know that, and I'm a professional virgin. Alright, my time's up. I really hope you guys liked it. I have some more free t-shirts if you want. Uh, you can see me after the show, or if you just want to talk, that's chill too. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. I do not believe he's a bird. Uh,